Welcome back to Cluffy Land. This is week in country number 59 on our second attempt of cooking the food of every country in the world. And tonight we're up to the nation of Finland. Finland is located in Northern Europe. It's part of the European Union. It's bordered by Norway, Sweden, Russia. It's across the Bay of Finland from Estonia, which we did a couple weeks ago. So its food isn't really that different from that one. Its food is very heavy in dairy and grains. Fish is very popular along the coast. And it also features the food of the people of Lapland, which includes reindeer. Unfortunately, reindeer is kind of hard to find around here, so that won't be on the menu. Although I wish I could have found it. Tonight we're going to be doing the same four dishes we did last time around, and those are... And apologies to all the Finnish people of the world, since I will not be attempting the Finnish pronunciations of these. Sweet buns, a biscuit-like bun that's normally eaten at breakfast, apparently. We're having it for dinner. Maple glazed rutabaga, a mushroom salad and salmon and dill sauce. And before we go any further, we have to look and see how things went when we tried this last time around. Okay, four years ago on the Global Cooking Challenge, my first challenge was trying to find reindeer. I quickly found that A, you couldn't find it, and B, venison here is really expensive. Someday I'll try to cook venison. Maybe by the time we get to New Zealand. Things went pretty well. The rutabagas we actually loved because they were all maple-y and wonderful. The salmon was good, the mushrooms were good, but those buns. Since baking has always been a problem with me and remains a problem, basically I had tried to cut the recipe completely in half and I didn't know how to make Easterized, so things didn't go well there. It was rather a dense thing. We're gonna try to fix that this time. Enough of that. Now we have to see what goes into those dishes. First, for our sweet buns, we'll need one teaspoon of yeast, one pint of milk, lukewarm, two eggs, beaten, half a cup, plus one tablespoon of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, two pounds of flour, and five ounces of butter, softened. Next, for the maple glazed rutabaga, we'll need two pounds of rutabaga, peeled and cubed, four tablespoons of butter, one eighth cup of maple syrup, and salt and pepper to taste. Then, for our mushroom salad, we'll need one cup of cream, one to two teaspoons of lemon juice or vinegar, we're going with lemon juice here, half a teaspoon of sugar, salt and white pepper to taste, about two cups of salted mushrooms, or you may substitute fresh champignon or oyster mushrooms, these will be chopped, and one onion finely chopped. Next, for the salmon and dill sauce, we'll need between two to four salmon fillets, one tablespoon of oil, one teaspoon of crushed peppercorns, two-thirds of the cucumber, diced, one tablespoon of chopped fresh dill, the juice of half a lemon, two-thirds of a cup of cream, two tablespoons of butter, salt and pepper to taste, and more fresh dill for garnish. Okay, here we go. Cook! In a bowl, mix the warmed milk and the yeast. Dissolve and let it sit for five minutes. Add one beaten egg, half a cup of sugar, salt, and cardamom powder. Stir to combine. Make a well in the flour, pour in the milk mixture, mix with the flour to create a dough. Turn out onto a floured surface. Knead until smooth and elastic. Add the butter, which should be only softened, not melted like this. Knead until it comes off in your hands. Cover with a damp cloth. Place in a warm, draft-free place until it doubles, about one to two hours. Retrieve, weigh, and onto a floured baking tray, separate the dough into 12 round balls. Set in a warm place to rest for about an hour. Retrieve the rolls, brush with the remaining egg, Sprinkle on sugar. Bake for eight to 10 minutes at 420 degrees Fahrenheit. Remove from the oven and let cool under a clean cloth. In a bowl, blend the cream with the lemon juice. Season with sugar, salt, and white pepper. Stir to combine. Pour over the chopped mushrooms. Mix in the onions. Cover and refrigerate until dinner. Heat the butter in a saucepan over medium heat. When it starts to crackle, add the rutabaga. Brown the rutabaga for about five minutes. Season generously with salt and pepper. Add the maple syrup. Toss and cover. 
Let simmer for 20 to 25 minutes until tender. Brush the salmon with oil, sprinkle on peppercorns, then make the sauce. In a small saucepan, place the diced cucumbers, chopped dill, lemon juice, cream, and bring to a simmer over medium-low heat. Add butter, salt, and pepper. Turn off the heat. Heat an oil-coated grill or grill pan over medium-high. Grill the fish for about 5 minutes per side or until done. Plate the fish. Pour the sauce over the fish. Plate servings of the mushroom salad. Plate servings of the rutabaga. Plate the rolls. And serve. So how'd that all go? Well, for the first time across all four dishes, while they were all good, they all had some problems that were tied to the recipes and execution by yours truly. We'll take them one at a time. First, we'll start with the maple glazed rutabaga. Now, last time I really loved it. This time, it was sort of okay. The problems were on my part and the recipe being kind of vague. Number one, if I tried it again next time, I would make those cubes noticeably smaller. Number two, I would have cooked it in a different vessel. The saucepan I used was kind of round it on the sides which meant the things couldn't really brown the way they were supposed to and that's my fault. Also I think I may have read something wrong but I would have used a whole lot more of the maple syrup in there. So the maple glazed rutabaga gets three out of five globes. If I made those necessary changes it would be a four or even a five. The mushroom salad. Here again we had some differences between last time. Last time I had bought probably twice as many mushrooms as I did this time and I should have known to cut back on the number of onions. Also I should have cut those onions finer because because what happened was we had a weird ratio of onions to mushrooms with too many onions and it was uh, too oniony when we had it. So it was good. I remember it could have been great. So the mushroom salad, I'm gonna give three out of five globes. If I had done it properly, it probably would have been a four. And then the salmon and dill sauce. Again, I tried to do about half of what the recipe called for because we didn't want a whole lot of leftovers. The salmon came out really well, though I really should have salted it before I started grilling it. And all the leftover spices and salt sauce was just lost. However, the recipe didn't really specify how fine to dice those cucumbers and they really should have been diced a good deal finer than I did. So it was kind of okay, but not as good as it should be. So the salmon and dill sauce gets three out of five globes. If I would have made those necessary changes in execution, it probably would have been a four. And lastly, those sweet buns. On the plus side, I finally figured out how to make yeast rise. Everything doubled the way it was supposed to. I did get 12 buns out of it. However, owing to inexperience by yours truly, I don't know how to make properly shaped buns so they're all nice and smooth and look like buns. Therefore, they weren't that pretty, and because they weren't a uniform shape, they didn't cook completely evenly across all the buns, which meant that some tasted heavenly and some really weren't cooked enough, which is, uh, again, a me problem. The recipe was actually quite good. They had lovely flavors of cardamom. They were nice and biscuity. I could see how they'd be eaten at breakfast with coffee or what have you. So I'm gonna give the sweet buns four out of five globes if I would gotten the execution properly, it could have been a five. So, again, lots of meat problems, but really good flavors. So, that does it for Finland. Remember, if you'd like to see our streams live when they happen every Tuesday night, be sure to follow us on Periscope or Busker or Facebook Live. Like and subscribe to be advised when these videos are posted every Wednesday night. If you have any thoughtful feelings or helpful suggestions about the food of Finland or any of our future nations, be sure to sound off in the comments. And remember, links to the original recipes can be found in the About section and tune in next time for what's probably the biggest culinary country of them all, arguably, and that is France. So, till then, thanks for watching and happy eating!